the New America Foundation is a public policy institute, uh, a think tank in DC parlance, um, that addresses a range of issues. Um, I uh, work as, as a team member of the uh, Open Technology Institute uh, at the New America Foundation that really looks at technology and communications policy and regulatory reforms. Um, within that group, I lead the work of the Media Policy Initiative. I came to this work uh, in a long and circuitous fashion. I'm actually a uh, engineering and economics undergrad. Uh, I spent a lot of time in the private sector in consulting. Um, latterly, uh, became very interested in the intersection between technology and communications as it is uh, interacting with our democratic processes and institutions. Uh, I'm currently a PhD student at Columbia University in their communica interdisciplinary communications program uh, and have a background as well in uh, secure public policy uh, inter in international affairs. I mean, as interested in this uh, from a domestic, uh, for domestic priorities as I am uh, international. The Media Policy Initiative. It's a small group of uh, media researchers and policy analysts uh, that seeks to support uh, idea, uh, seeks to develop ideas around uh, a healthy media that supports democracy better than what we have right now um, for the, and really for the 21st century. Uh, the Media Policy Initiative is engaged in research around uh, several aspects of, uh, of media. The first is around media practices and uh, processes, and we're, we're looking deeply into questions around fact-checking um, uh, as it's emerging in this, in this uh, fraught political season, um, and also uh, ideas on uh, online engagement and the possibilities of engaging your audience uh, in ways that you couldn't before using buttons, links, comments and conversations with the journalist as much as uh, the audience just reading what the journalist uh, has, uh, the story he or she has written. Um, in addition to this, we're looking deeply at the state of what we're calling information communities. So if we look at a local uh, context, uh, look at the, the Triangle in North Carolina or Scranton in Pennsylvania or uh, Kanawha County in West Virginia, um, and, and seeing what well, everyone says media is changing, but what does that look like on the ground? Uh, because it, it's really a lot more complex than uh, the internet um, transforming everything in, in the same way. Um, in many places, there, the internet isn't quite as ubiquitous as it is in our, our urban centers, uh, and legacy media is still uh, picking up a lot of the work uh, in providing democratic oversight of, of politicians and of um, business and really interrogating and keeping, uh, doing the job, the watchdog role that it's always already do always done. Our work um, at the Media Policy Initiative uh, is growing in several directions. We will be issuing a number of case studies uh, on uh, local media ecosystems and further pushing those ideas forward as a as a, a mode of analysis. Um, we are also undertaking a number of experiments around fact-checking and online practices, and we'll be issuing the results of those in 2013. Um, we grow and partner um, with, with pe in, in ways that both uh, utilize the, the strengths of people we engage and also um, follow the, the whims of policymakers in DC. Um, you sometimes don't know exactly what's going to pop up next month or next week. Um, uh, for us ourselves, we have a particular uh, concern about um, media uh, for people who've been historically marginalized. Um, we are partnering on a report around Native American media with, the Native, with an organization called Native Public Media, and we'll be issuing that later this year. Uh, we, will be, we will continue uh, to look at these questions um, uh, going forward. There are many opportunities to get involved in uh, 
media policy. Um, I always highly recommend people uh, doing a master's degree uh, and looking at these questions, interning at the, the many organizations that work on these questions. For our part, I uh, suggest you look at mediapolicy.newamerica.net and uh, welcome an email. Thank you.